Good morning, everybody. Today's Saturday. It's Memorial Day weekend, and we're out here replanting. We're doing ever. We're doing exactly what every farmer hates to do, and that's replant. But uh, we're up here at the hog barn. I'm gonna have to ride over every acre of this and uh, spot this in. It's pretty bad up here. It just feels pretty flat. Uh, and just got the cotton. Got waterlogged and rotted it. And that's that's the nature of cotton. It's just so ill-tempered it, it just cannot take any variables when it's young like this or when when you're trying to get a stand. It just can't take variables. But uh, We'll get her replanted. We've already replanted probably about 50 acres so far on some other farms and uh, didn't film it because I'm just kind of frustrated to tell you the truth. Uh, I hate replanting. I don't need no practice. I don't need to do it twice. And I'm not bragging that I'm good. I just hate replanting. If you do it right the first time, you ain't got to do it again. But who would have thought we got six, seven, eight, ten inches of rain? all of a sudden but uh we'll get a replant i'm waiting on tommy he's bringing me a few bags of seed put in and then we've got to move all the way on the other end well different county and get some done down there and then we've got to start spraying this cotton get it cleaned up get the thrips off of it thrips are eating it up hop out here right quick and show you what this cotton is supposed to look like. And you see this is thrip damage. That's where the thrips are eating it up. You see these leaves rolled up. Oh, the shade got it. See these leaves rolled up. That's thrips. This is how you find thrips if I can get the camera to set still. Flick it like that in your hand and they'll be in your hand. But the cotton looks real good right here. And this is what we mean by hill dropping. You see how it's dropped these two seeds? And two more, and two more. That right there is thrip damage. Those leaves rolled up like that. That's thrip damage. See, it's got a tap root, and that's all it has. But we're out here just riding through it, spotting it in. That's the joys of being a cotton farmer. You better get ready to replant, because you're going to replant. Just zip through here real quick. Then when we, when we get to where we got to replant, we slow down to set the planter down. Y'all remember that farm I was planting late that night trying to finish up and it was coming a thunderstorm? Well, 
this is that farm. Yep. Having to replant the whole farm. Beat it in the ground. I think it rained like six inches over here that night. Like it's just a stalk here and there picking up everywhere. But replanting the whole field, which is just 35 acres, but still. That's what I get for planting when it's coming a thunderstorm. Somebody should watch the radar a little closer, reckon. But, I was trying to finish up. But it, I should have stopped. Line size 2020, so. We replanted her, we about got her, about three more rounds, we'll have her replanted. Probably do better than what was planted earlier. And, like Dennis Ivers says, in a hundred years, nobody know the difference. It is Memorial Day. Uh, we didn't want to work, but we just about got to. This cotton has grown completely up, and the wind is down today. And we're spraying in Genia, so we've got to have the wind down. But uh, we're going to clean this cotton crop up. We're going with a quart of Roundup. 12.8 ounces or 12.6 ounces. I can't remember which one it is, but that's what I know what the rate is on Ingenia. We're going with two gallons of Intrepid Edge to kill them thrips. And it will smoke them. Uh, yeah, that's what kind of cool this morning, ain't Tom? It's cool. But that's all right. Everything's looking great. Corn's looking great, beans are looking great. They, well, beans ain't looking too hot because I burnt the snot out of them. But they're looking, they're looking like they're supposed to look. But, uh, yeah. Took off yesterday, rested up. My back feels a lot better. And uh, we're going to try to get this cotton sprayed today. Should. And then we're going to jump back on the corn. And pimp juice it some more but yeah that's what's on tap for today so kind of gloomy in the background ain't it but they ain't they ain't giving no rain all the time he says starting tomorrow on wednesday so it's a good thing we are for spraying his cotton get cleaned up tomorrow wednesday like i said it's thursday friday saturday we're gonna get with it. Y'all see what we into? Oh yeah, we're putting compadre for drift control. I forgot to mention that.
it's cool this morning guys uh we're up here at what we call the hog barns there's a big old hog farm up there uh this cotton looks pretty good we had to replant this bottom right here down in that slag you can see the the dirt turns white right down there and but with cotton that ground was just a little bit cooler a little bit damper and it does not like it but look up here on this high red land you can see that's what we call hill dropping see where we dropped them two plants i mean it's pretty just filthy but you can also see where we put this fertility right in this row you can see that See how that grass is a lot greener right there? But we're out here putting our Roundup Ninjino on it and putting some Intrepid Edge for some thrips and that should clean it up. But cotton just has, it grows a straight tap root. You can see, just straight down. And uh, It's putting its second true leaf on right now. Yeah, you don't count the first two. Those are your cotyledon. Yeah, and you can also see the thrip damage on it. You see how the leaves are rolled up a little bit? That's from thrips. A little bit of speckling from the reflex we put on it at pre-emerge. But what's up looks real good. Looks real good. But that cotton we replanted, it'll come right up. I hope it does anyhow. It's cool this morning. I don't know why it's so cool. And dreary. But uh, yeah, that's what we're out here doing. Get this mess cleaned up get this cleaned up and then we're going to play with our corn just a little bit more and we'll be caught up a little bit maybe we can take a breather i'm about ready for one but now nah, all seriousness we gotta get all that crap cleaned up from this spring but the stress load will be off of us anyhow we'll be able to doctor our corn up a little bit more put some more pimp juice on it well, that's what we're out here doing today. just growed up. We're taking care of that problem right now.
to the mountain, Bob. Walkway. All these freaking sprayers and a door that I open all the way. I'll never know. Deer would rather worry about a dang foot peg as to get in this door over here. Crazy. Alright, here we go. Well, we're up here at the grain bins. My electrician has been up here today and supposedly got her buttoned up, ready to go. We got to get Watkins and Son Grainer up here and they're going to set the speed on all these variable speeds and all this and go through with me and all that, you know, because I'm not a grain bin guy. But, it's like it's all buttoned up. I don't even know how to get in the crack. But, it's all here. Oh, yeah, disconnects off. But anyhow, this is a 10 or a 12 inch loop. I can't remember what it was. But it's the heavy duty one. GSI loop. It's all GSI. Bands, loop, everything. 255,000 bushel bands. Those size, that size there fits me just perfect for my operation. That's what I got. But, uh, gonna be pretty nice this come this fall to be able to use it because it's been sitting here two and a half years not being able to use it. But it's gonna be pretty nice. Got a big old pile of miracle grow right there. You got another pile of stuff right there that's good stuff. Heated fans. Got four of them. Got the bin manager system on it. Where I watch it from my phone. Like I said, heated fans. Where I'm both hot air or cold air on them. This runs sweep. Looks exactly the same it did two and a half years ago. But paddle sweeps, that's the best sweep there is. These are your bin managers. That's measuring the quality of the grain, sending information to my iPhone. We have to shut those. Man, it'd be nice to get to, get to use these. Like I said, it looks exactly the same it did two and a half years ago. <laughs> but who would have thought you couldn't get breakers and you couldn't get panels? 
to that cone. You jumping, boys. Looking good, looking good. What do you think, Tommy? The bands look the same as they had two and a half years ago, didn't they? I'm gonna walk y'all out here to the corner right quick. Tommy's gonna fire me if I don't get my butt to work. Making him work on Memorial Day. What kind of boss am I? But every other farmer in there is working too, so I don't feel so bad. Looks pretty dang good. Got big old girth on it. Pig weeds are sick. Looks real good. Real good. Folks, y'all didn't make it. All right, Tommy, let's go back to the shop and get some water. Let me know if that stuff starts to be as calm. Pull around back. I'm going to run out some of these little bit of patches. I'm going to get this and then I'll jog down the Elor Cemetery. And get... I'll probably jog down the Apple Road and scrap it and then get Elor Cemetery. Get that thing loaded in the third ear. If it's up here, I'll get it loaded up. And I'll be a dumbass. All right. All right. I'll see you. I'm gonna pull around. Okay. I'll see you in a little bit. There's a stinking door. Don't you look? Why they don't make a freaking cab with a door that open? We're doing a few objectives here with this with this pass we're doing right now. Um, number one, we're going after any grasses, and number two, woo, a state trooper. Woo! It's been hot up here all day. He parks up here behind my grain bins and catches them. But uh, first objectives we're going after grasses. The second one we're going after pig weeds with Ingenia. The grasses we're using Roundup, uh, and we're also going after thrips, killing thrips with the Intrepid Edge. And uh, the Intrepid Edge we're using 3.2 ounces to the acre, and that gives us gives us a little bit of residual. Hold these thrips off a little bit. Um, we're also putting drift control in there, Capadre, but the Roundup is a quart to the acre. Ingenia is 12.8 ounces, and Intrepid is 3.2. And we're using 10 gallon acre of water stuff. We get over 100 acres of load. But that should clean your crop and crop up. The, the last objective we're doing is this gives me a bird's eye view of what I need to replant and what I don't. And so far I haven't seen anything that I need to replant. I think I got it all the day before yesterday. If this will come up now. But that's the love-hate relationship with cotton. It's an animal to get out of the ground. But once you get out of the ground, then something's trying to jump on it to kill it. It's always something. But if you can get it up boot top high, you got her off to the races. But getting it up to boot top high is like pulling teeth out of a meth head. Hard to do. But anyhow, I just wanted to go over the objectives we're doing with this pass. All right, guys. We knocked off a little bit early. It's Memorial Day, anyhow. Aaron's cooking us some steaks. We like about uh, 150 acres being done with spraying the cotton. 
I found just a little bit more I'm gonna have to patch up replanting maybe a swipe or two other than that I think we got it all but uh been a good day got over a lot of acres seen a lot of cotton it you know kind of gives us the overall what we got and uh yeah everybody will think he's veterans i mean like i said they fight for this country and today's the day we remember them all the ones that didn't make it but i'm gonna get in here in the house i appreciate all y'all watching if you don't mind hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed subscribe you're missing out and uh if you if you comment guys keep them comments coming i like them uh, i like to try to answer them best i can and uh appreciate all y'all watching and we'll see you in the next one